What's up, everybody? Um, so I'm using the P90 today, I guess. Uh, gas team is the class I chose. I th I think I was about to use um unleaded premium gas, but you know, definitely a good choice by going with gas team. And um, <clears throat> all my classes now have like shotguns and stuff on them. Basically, because I'm I'm want to get a shotgun montage out, so I've been getting a lot of shotgun clips, a lot of like spaz kill streaks, just going uh, nuts with that thing, and then some N N1014 stuff, just like um a lie. And look at this bull. What the fuck? You see that bullshit? I didn't want to watch the kill cam because that was gay. But um, yeah, cause uh, like the uh, a lie a lie um mini edit. You saw that one. Hopefully you saw that one. If you haven't seen that, you better go watch that, because I thought that turned out really good. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys liked it. And, um... And, yeah, so I've been trying to get some... Just some, basically, some shotgun clips, so... Keep shotgun on most of my classes. Um, and the reason... Actually, I'm not really too concerned about getting striker clips, because they're not as entertaining. But, um... I don't know. I just want. I'm not. I haven't got the extended mags for it. I'm like 50 kills away, so I've been using it, just trying to get that right now. And um, what this gameplay is, it's a. Um, it's actually a nuke. Gorilla Frilla One, the one who hates nukes, is doing a nuke. Um, I've gotten nukes, plenty of nukes before. I mean, I got all the nuke challenges and everything done. But the just to get the challenge done. But the reason why I got a nuke today is because my friend, this aunt. I've been having some trouble getting nukes. I've been telling him <clears throat> the reason why you can't get your nukes is because you're trying really, you're trying too hard, and you're thinking about your kill streaks the whole time. Because me and him both, we run three, four, five all the time. We are some strict three, four, fivers, and um, we might change it up in demolition just to give us an edge, like uh, a getting a Harry or a Pavlo. But I pretty much keep three, four, five on. I mean, I got all the challenges done almost, so I don't really care about the. AC-130 million kills with that, and then 500,000 kills with the chopper gunner, because I really don't want to have to use high kill streaks that much, because I really don't like them. But, um, he's been having some trouble getting the nuke, and basically, I was telling him, just play like you do normally, camp just a little bit extra, and it's not that much hard. Don't think about your kill streaks as much. When you get your 7, when you get your Harrier, camp it out, let it do its job, then just play very cautiously from that point on. But those se first seven kills, if you're thinking about, you can't think about them at all, because uh, it just becomes a job. Because you get your first kill, your next kill, you're thinking, all right, one more kill. Or I mean, you think like six more kills, and set, uh, five more kills, four more kills, and you can't think like that. You get to just run around and kill like you normally like. With three, four, five years, run around and kill, and you get whatever kill streaks you get. Normally, you get all five of your kill streaks, and you usually go over. But you don't realize how far you go over because you have nothing to mark how many kills you've been getting so a lot of times you're probably getting seven eight nine kill streaks but you're not paying attention because your kill streaks aren't that high so and there's nothing popping up saying seven kill streak eight kill streak nine kill streak so you need to keep your mind off your kill streaks that's basically my my tip and also running three four five helps also another thing that helps if you're having trouble building kill streaks would be to um if you see what I'm doing out here I'm not exactly camping I'm kind of just patrolling this back area that I know is safe by my flag and uh, waiting for some of them to get close <clears throat> but um I totally lost my train of thought right now so oh fuck man how do I do this but I don't know what I should have done right here also is when you go in the chopper gunner it's also a good idea to um Oh, and also I called the chopper gunner in instantly because we had two flags, they had one flag. Unfortunately, it's caught this one flag, but I was hoping to spawn trap them at A and get my nuke real easy. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, so what I did for my first seven kills is I basically just ran around, I got them real quick, and then... I move all these guys back into their A flag with the chopper gunner, and then I just basically spawn trap them from that point on. And... Yeah, like I said, oh, I totally messed up that. I don't even know if I said it or not. But you should turn your sensitivity down to like medium or high when you get into the chopper gunner, because it becomes really easy to um, to maneuver. And this is a first attempt nuke, and I got the first try. And I'm not gonna. I turned it off after I turned it back to three, four, five. I'm not gonna go for nukes anymore, unless someone says, 
they really want to see a nuke. Um, if you want to see a nuke, now I'm going to choose the gun I want to use. Sorry, but you got to use what you're comfortable with. And I've been using this setup a lot, so tips for nukes, use guns you're comfortable with. Uh, play how you normally would play with your normal kill streaks up to your 7. Lightweight camp it up just so you can get those uh, few extra kills for your chopper gunner that your harriers don't get. And then if you come out of your chopper gunner with um with still like a high kill streak around the twenties area, not having your uke yet, then hardcore camp it up until you get your twenty five kill streak pretty much. You know, you gotta get it. Um by any means necessary. But um nukes are still stupid to me. I'm not gonna go for them anymore, so don't plan to see any more nuke gameplay for me, but yeah, here's my commentary that has been long awaited. I mean, I have been doing a lot of editing stuff, and uh, this is kind of going over the time, the video limit, but I still want to talk about this. My doing a lot of editing lately, and you see how I got the 3D intro, and me and my friends have really been working on that. I did the Ally intro, and then I did my other montage, so. And I'm working on getting clips for other montages. I've been just doing a lot of editing stuff, so. I'm still going to do commentaries. I got a sponsorship, so you're going to see more trailer videos, and people are going to post my videos on their channel so expect that so I'm I'm really feel like I'm coming up and subs are coming in at a higher rate now so <sighs> hopefully my channel starts growing at a significant rate and by growing I don't mean just getting subs because that's not my only concern I'm more concerned about people who actually care about my videos I hate people who sub for subs and stuff like that because it is very because you're getting subs who don't really care about your videos. I want subs that want to watch my videos and comment my videos. and Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put more commentaries out soon, so don't worry about that. See you guys later. Peace.